In this episode, I'm sharing with you how to start having discernment about who you put your personal power and your trust into as a leader. There's a lot of people pushing a lot of different things out there, very sophisticated marketers. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of people who are being inauthentic and downright untruthful. So if you want to learn how to start having this discernment around who you work with and who you bring into your life, stay tuned. I'm Adam Kadu, and it's time to master the art of real heart alignment, where you live, work, and play from your personal power as energy aligns, your gifts flow, and life simply works. These life-changing conversations are designed to help you to see what you're not seeing, hear what you're not hearing, and to be who you're not being, as the world needs more heart-centered leaders now more than ever. Are you ready to say no to living a half-hearted life and say yes instead to boldly living from a place of real heart alignment? Welcome to the Adam Kadu Podcast. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Adam Kadu Podcast. Inside this episode, I'm letting the cat out of the bag a little bit um, just to help to make sure you are working in this discernment of knowing who you're truly working with. There's just a lot going on in the marketplace that the internet the interwebs are just busier than ever with so many messages and positions and new people and all this stuff. And I want to make sure that you are using your sense, your heart, your uh, ability to read into energy instead of that logical mind that's going to trip you up every step of the way. And so this podcast has been something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I felt like it was on the edge a little bit. Um, I felt like it was uh, getting into a gray area that I'm unfamiliar with, you know, because I am the type of person that is seeing the best in everyone, right? Almost to a fault at times. And I want to make sure that I'm not continuing to sing all the rainbows and sunshine when there's also things that I'm seeing and sensing, and especially just uh, with being around uh, in the marketplace and working with a lot of different people, having a lot of different, you know, clients and relationships and, you know, mentors and things in between. I'm seeing a lot of things that are transpiring in the marketplace that I feel like I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't call attention to it. Now, let's take a moment back in time. When the interwebs finally just took off, you know, it was really around 2006. Um, Google came on the marketplace. Facebook was soon to follow or vice versa. And things dramatically shifted. There was a certain group of people early on that were doing, um, you know, just teleconferences and using the internet for email marketing and things of that nature that were doing well. And in the early days, the wild, wild west, and I dare to say we're still in the wild, wild west, we're still in the inc uh, incubacy of the internet, because essentially, if you think of the grand scale of things, we might think that the internet has been around for a long time, but I mean, 20, 30 years even, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty, pretty young, right? Especially if we think it's going to live on for hundreds of thousands of years, however long this earth is going to be here, is the internet going to be here? It's taking shape, it's changing, it's evolving, just like the people in this world. But here's the thing, early on, literally, like if you were out doing things on the internet, you had a great chance of succeeding. You could hold a webinar and people are like, what is this webinar? I'm getting this free information. Oh, this person's so nice and now they have this offer. Let, let me buy this. It was a lot easier even though the technology back in the day was, was tough to navigate. So I think that that was just something that if you were willing to figure it out early on and you had a message and, and you were putting yourself out there, you had a great chance of success. And now it seems like, especially with after 2020, there's so many people that have come on the scene, you know, as, as uh, trying to get their business off the ground online and, and understand marketing and understand marketing psychology and sales and, uh, you know, how to game the systems with TikTok, know that know the algorithm with TikTok and IG Reels. And there's so many people that have so many messages that sometimes when you, you are opening your heart, if you are sharing yourself with others, it's just getting washed out. It's just getting, um, you know, just kind of overlooked, if you will. And so that's not what I want for you. I don't want you to be the overlooked entrepreneur. But here's the deal. When you follow some of your mentors, so blindly that you're going to ride or die on everything they say. If they're saying to do this process or, or this uh, strategy or blueprint and you follow it to a T and for whatever reason, it's just not working for you, 
chances are it was a different day back in the day. That process might've worked great. The process might've been the thing back in the day when this mentor created it and it, it was working well for them. And so we've got to be able to take and to pick and choose and to use our own sense based on the current world we're living in. And yes, piggyback and see what's working well for others. But if we're so blindly following others, what we're essentially doing, and this is the key here, this is the big takeaway right now, you're giving your personal power away. If you are saying, save me, I'm putting all my trust in you. You tell me the way, you tell me the steps and I'm going to do it. Essentially, you're giving all your power away. Because you have your own personality, you have your own strengths, your own weaknesses, you have your own sense about you, you have your own intuition, and if you're not honoring that, you're not playing the game from the standpoint of your wholeness, of your totality. You are essentially giving a lot of energy, and, and you know I look at this sometimes. If you think about it, like if you're putting all your attention on somebody, if you're following them so closely, if everything they say is just like gospel to you, if you're basically feeding that person all your energy, you're giving your energy away. But if you're sitting here in your center, in your power, allowing the thoughts to come in, the insights to come in, but at the end of the day, we're not so attached and, and needing and um, things of that nature and so focused on what somebody else is doing. Because if you are, you're giving your power away. There's breadcrumb trails out there, yes. But at the end of the day, you've got to do you. So here's the thing. Here's, here's what was on my heart that I wanted to share with you that I've been kind of skating around a little bit. And I've just seen so many people, like I said, I work with so many different entrepreneurs, had so many different mentors. I've been around the block, let's just say. And in this industry, more than anything, more than any time before, there is so much fear in the marketplace. And that fear is also coming from some of the thought leaders out there, right? Some people are working from this place of scarcity and uh, needing to make things happen. And they've made bigger commitments with their bigger cars and their bigger houses. And they feel this pressure to make it happen. And they're essentially working from this place of fear, which when people buy out of fear and when people buy from somebody that's putting uh, essentially fear out in the marketplace, you're just buying into more fear. And then you're wondering why you're second guessing yourself and why things aren't working for you is because you are choosing to work with somebody that's working from fear. And so I've, I have people that I know that, you know, they're touting alignment, let's just say. And behind the scenes, they're the type of person that's, you know, changing their mind every, every week. You know, every new gust of wind, they're changing their mind again, but they're, they're selling alignment. I know people that are, you know, hypnotherapists that are talking about money mindset, but, you know, they've, uh, in the past, they worked with myself and, and others in the industry and haven't paid their bill, right? Other people that I know, you know, are, are talking about abundance, abundance and prosperity, like collective uh, uh, growth for all of us. But then at the slightest little look, of a competitiveness between peers. They're quick to push that person away, kick them to the dust, close them out of their life because of just a small intersection in essentially what they're doing. But they're all about abundance, right? But they're taking action and making decisions based on fear. And there's so much of that going on out there. And when you can tune in and really see what people are selling you, is this fear? Is it rooted in fear? Is it them needing to make something happen? Is it them needing to get us an offer off the ground? Right? That energy does not have the expansive energy that you need to succeed. That energy does not have the frequency, the vibration that when you are consuming that content, it's going to light your world on fire. It's going to inspire you. You might have these quick little inspirations of new ideas because people are so good at tickling your brain, that's what marketers do. Marketers are good at tickling your brain, give you some aha, some insight moments where you're just like, man, they know a whole bunch of stuff that I don't know. Let me buy from them when their best stuff was essentially in the free training that you took. See, again, there's so much out there and there's so many new people that are coming on the scene selling something. You know, there was this a Andrew Tate guy that I'm sure you guys have heard about coming on the scene and you know, a lot of people are like, oh, oh no, he's, he's, he's a good guy. And other people are like, you know, I did some background checking and just like digging into it. And he's, you know, kind of, kind of a nasty guy. Right. But he had a wave of people that were buying from him and buying into this 
uh, program that he was doing essentially because it was a, you know, get rich quick type of deal. And there's a lot of that out there right now. There's people that hit me up on the DMs. I mean, you, you guys probably feel uh, the, <laughs> the wrath of the DMs sometimes. It's just a lot of sleazy stuff going on. And, and I've actually purchased programs, sales programs in the past just to see what else was out there when I was creating my Heart Center Selling Mastery program. And I was appalled by seeing what was out there. You know, people were actually teaching people to just spam a whole bunch in the DMs and just send thousands of messages, right? There's no real heart behind it. It's just fear. It's just make the money, right? Because the world is changing, the economy this, the economy that, there's so much fear. But if you act out of fear, you make decisions in fear, I promise you, I know from experience, you'll have more reasons to fear. But if you can set back and tune in with how something makes you feel, the vibe it gives you, and really have this discernment of where is this product coming from? Where is this person coming from? Are they coming from this heart expansive place of being of service, of helping the world, of changing lives? Or are they merely looking for that, you know, snowflake in time, this little blip at time where they can position something in a certain way to, to make their money? Because they're fearful that they don't make enough money, they'll be inadequate. And if they're inadequate, they got nothing right? There's so much fear out there. So check in, use your sense, no longer just make these impulse decisions based off thoughts, based off, oh, this is it. This is the missing piece. This is exactly what I need. Because essentially all you really need is to trust yourself. You're going to know the programs to take. You're going to know the people to work with. You're going to know the mentors that you aspire to work with. Have that discernment. Walk that razor's edge. Trust yourself. If there's things coming up, but you're blinded by, oh, this is it. This is the thing I need. This, this is the missing piece. And hey, look, totally get it. You know, we've got to be able to market. We've got to be able to sell. We've got to be able to allow people to make an empowered decision for themselves in order to go to the next level. But if you're working so much from fear and if you're buying into fear and if you're so tuned into fear, I got to make this happen. What if this doesn't happen? Oh, this person has what I need. This is going to fix it all. You're giving all your power away. And I'm asking you to hold on to your power. So that way you can generate and multiply more power. So that way you can put more love and more heart in the marketplace. Because I promise you, that's the thing that's going to help you stand out. That's what's going to move the needle. That's going to make the difference. Because just like you, my friend, we are all becoming sensitive to this push bro marketing and, you know, these people that are uh, having these big promises and, you know, having these crazy bloated courses with all the bells and whistles and you just get lost in it. You're not able to, you know, make it happen for yourself because there's just so much. Let's strip it down. Let's keep things simple. Let's trust ourselves. And so the next time you're, you know, going through launch, you're, you're faced with the decision to buy. No longer are you making decisions of, I need this. This is going to fix it all. Because there's so many people out there touting a whole bunch of different things, alignment, abundance, you know, prosperity, all the things in between. But essentially, those people aren't practicing those principles. Those people aren't walking the line. Those people aren't walking their own path with heart. So tune in. Trust yourself. Because you, you know, we are all sensing beings and your customers, they're going to sense you as well. So if you're working from fear, if you have your own doubts and hesitations and limitations, hey, that's part of it. But I promise you, when you get in a place of caring deeply for others, when you're doing your copy, when you're doing your videos, when you're doing your podcast, when you're lit on fire and inspired, ready to share with the world, ready to light people up, ready to wake people up, open their minds, open their hearts. They're going to freaking feel it. They're going to feel that from you. So let's no longer feed into the fear. Please have the discernment to know where you're working from and have the discernment to know where others are working from as well. Because there's a lot of people selling you a bill of goods out there. There's a lot of people buying those bill of goods. And most people, it's just burning a hole in their pocket. 
Most people are just sending their money and their personal power out the door. Save me. This has got to work. Save me. This is the missing piece. Save me. And yet again, you know, I'm all up for marketing when you have the right intention. I'm all up for, you know, sharing with your heart what you expect people to do when they come in your programs. But you've got to check with your energy first. Where are you working from? So I'd love for you to do that right here and right now. Let's take a moment. Where am I working from in my business? What percent of me of my totality is working from fear? What percent of me is buying into these programs and buying into what these mentors are saying that's rooted in fear? Check in with it. Use your heart. Use your sense. And I promise you, when you can start freeing up that energy, all of a sudden, your creative powers multiply. Your courage multiplies. Your heart grows and multiplies. So let's go get out of the way of all that fear. Let's eradicate that from our lives. If there's people on your news feed that are causing you to feel a certain way, let them go. If the mentor is uh, ex essentially, you know, complicating things, confusing things, well, they said this, but they're doing this. Look again, look closer, let them go. Let's start to free up our space to create and free up our space to welcome others and attract others into our lives that are more aligned with us. So that's the message for today. That's the message for today. Let's let go of all the fear out there. Fears are going to come up. Let them pass. Other people are pushing fear out there. Let it pass. It no longer affects you because you are in your totality. You are in your power. No more giving it away. All right. Much love, you guys. Much love, much love, much love. I look forward to chatting with you more. Let me know if anything in this episode came up for you. I'd love to hear. You can send me a message over on Instagram. Um, and until next time, let's clean out the gutters. Let's clean out the gutters. Let's clean out the ditches. Let's clean out the things that no longer serve us in our lives because the world needs more heart-centered leaders now more than ever. So damn it, go lead. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to another episode of the Adam Kadu podcast. If you would take a moment to subscribe and click the bell icon so that way you get notified when future episodes air. Now here's the thing. If you are looking for the show notes, you can find a link to those below. If you're looking for the handles of the guests that I've been interviewing, things of that nature, you'll find that here. And if there's anything else that stood out to you in the episode, or if there's anything I can do for you, please leave a comment below or for sure message me on Instagram if you'd like, as I'm always looking to hear what's working well for you and what caught your interest about the Adam Canoe podcast. So it's time to go, time to change the world, time to help more people. Are you ready? Let's go do this thing. The world needs more leaders. So thanks again for listening to the Adam Could Do podcast. <laughs>